Next, we're going to define several keyboard shortcuts that will help us navigate through the code. And the first of which will be leader GD. In my case, it is space GD, and I'm going to bind these shortcuts to the reveal definition command. Basically, it will help us quickly navigate to the particular symbol to its definition. Let's say I'm going to put my cursor on top of the function call, and if I need to jump to the definition of this function, I'll just press space G D. And right away we're navigated to the file where this function has been defined. Let's try it out one more time. I'm gonna press space G D. By the way, VS Code Neo Vim extension already provides us with some set of default keyboard shortcuts. All of them can be found on the GitHub page of the extension under the combining section. And right here, as you can see, there is a keyboard shortcut GD, which does exactly this navigates user to the definition of the particular symbol. So feel free to use these default shortcuts and also define additional ones. And we are moving on. Let's duplicate this line a couple more times. I'm going to define shortcuts to jump to the type definition. The command identifier will be editor action go to type definition. And another shortcut will be used to jump to the implementation. For going to tab definition, I'm gonna press space G Y sequence of keys. And for opening up implementation, I'm gonna use space G I. And I will remind you that every time that we modify this init.log configuration file, we have to restart VS Code in order for changes to take effect. Now let's try it out. I'm gonna put my cursor on this timeline item type and press space G Y. I'm about to be redirected to the definition of this type. And one more time, let's jump to the definition of the activity type. I'm gonna press space G Y and we are here. And as for another shortcut to go to implementation, I will put my cursor on top of this function call and I'll press space G I. And we are navigated to the definition of this function. So as you can see, this shortcut is pretty similar to the very first one that we have defined in this lesson. Another shortcut that might often come in handy will be to list all the references of the particular symbol under the cursor. I'm going to use space gr to see the list of references. And the way it works is the following. Firstly, we have to position our cursor on top of the particular symbol, constant or function, let's say, and then if I'll press space G R, we'll see such inline window with a list of all those places where this particular symbol is used. We can navigate through this list and jump to any place from here by pressing enter. All right, let's add a couple more shortcuts. Space G S will be used to open up window to jump to a particular symbol in the current file. The common name will be go to symbol and the other shortcut will be used to jump to the particular line. And yes, it's very easy to jump to a particular line when you already use Vim, but nevertheless, I'm going to show this shortcut as well. And by the way, I try to choose such sequence of keys for the comments that most of the times will serve as abbreviations. For example, space GL in this case is a shortcut for go to line words. So now I'll we'll switch over to the TypeScript file and right here, let's press space G S. We got such a window with a list of the symbols used in this file. And we can navigate through the list, press enter and navigate to a particular symbol. And it works not only with TypeScript or JavaScript files, but also for specific files such as view components or any other framework files. As long as there is a VS Code extension for that particular framework, to make the VS Code recognize files of this framework. In my case, I had to install Vue official extension, and this way VS Code will be able to parse and analyze syntax of Vue components and all those shortcuts, such as going to a particular definition or opening up a list of references of a particular symbol, will work. Let's keep going and try another shortcut. For going to a particular line, I'll press space GL, specify the line number and press enter, and we have jumped to this particular line. But anyway, Vim has a shortcut to go to a particular line out of the box. The next shortcuts are going to allow us to navigate backward and forward in the history of our jumps. I'm gonna use space and F to navigate forward 
in the history of jumps and space and B to navigate backward. And the way it works is the following. To demonstrate this, I will open up a couple of additional files, activities.ts, constants.ts, and main.ts. So we have some kind of a history of our jumps already, and we can use shortcuts space and B to navigate back in the history to all those previous cursor positions in different files where we were before. And in the same way, we can navigate forward through the history of jumps by pressing space and F. As you can see, it works. And finally, the last shortcut that I'm going to add in this lesson will be used to jump to the last edit location. So I will use space GE for this action. The command identifier will be navigate to last edit location. Let's make one modification to this file and then I'm going to jump away from this place. And then if I need to jump to the last location where I have modified the code, I'll press space G E. And right away my cursor gets moved to this particular position. Let's try it out one more time. Firstly, I'll make modification, navigate away and press space G E. And I'm right here at the place of my last modification. As always, link to the repository with this configuration file will be in the video description.